hi guys welcome back to my channel and as you can see i'm still in the forest and I'm enjoying the nature and i decided that i'm going to use this opportunity to make another video and give the 10 reasons or the 10 ways that finland has changed me as an individual Like I said earlier, I have been living in Finland for five years. I came to Finland for studies and ever since I came to Finland, I have been here and I haven't left. So I feel that migrating because I'm originally Nigerian and migrating from Nigeria to Finland and having to almost start my life over in Finland has changed me a lot like it has changed me so much that I cannot even believe that there are some things that I do now that I would have never done in the past so let's get into the video so the first way in which Finland has changed me is that I have learned to be alone I don't know if it's because of the less amount of people that are in Finland or because of the quietness and because people like their alone time a lot so it has really taught me to to be alone and appreciate solitude and it's something that I I used to crave to be with other people when I was in Nigeria not like I was needy or anything but here in Finland you would learn to be alone and then you somehow be able to at least to a great extent be able to conquer being lonely or loneliness you begin to enjoy being alone and it is something that i feel has changed in me a lot i just cannot explain it but i know that other people that are living in finland will be able to relate with me to an extent because i came here alone and even though i have friends and i have some family here but sometimes i just want to be by myself like i literally came out to this forest near my home because i not only wanted to enjoy nature and get some fresh air I just felt like being alone and I find it really, really interesting. The second reason, obviously, is that I enjoy silence and I appreciate nature. So it's kind of related, but then I'm taking pictures of nature, I'm walking in the nature, I want to be in the forest. Like, I, I never had this trait before I came to Finland. But I don't know if it's because of the weather that makes it relaxing, especially in the summers and even in the winter. When I'm out and everywhere is white, it looks so beautiful. Like the way Finland changes with the four season, it's, it's amazing. And then it's so beautiful to behold. So I find myself taking pictures and wanting to be out and admiring nature and falling in love with nature. So this is another way that I feel that Finland has changed me. It's like I, I now love nature a lot and I don't really know how to explain it. <laughs> The third reason in Finland has, in which Finland has changed me is that I now have hobbies. Like not like I didn't have hobbies before, but I had interests. I'll call it interests, things that I was interested in, but I never really had the time to do. But in Finland, you would have time and then you have to pick up a hobby. You have to find something that you're passionate about. You have to find something that you like to do. And it is something that I find that is very, I find very purposeful in my life like it kind, it kind of directs your life towards a purpose because after work sometimes you begin to ask yourself what next like what do you actually want to do for yourself and this is the way that Finland has changed me it got me thinking a lot of what what I like or what I want to do and then it got me also making myself involved in those activities that I like to do. So this is the way that Finland has changed me. So the first reason in which Finland changes you or has changed me as a person is that I eat a lot of vegetables here. Like I'm trying to eat more healthy and more balanced diets. And maybe it's also because of the weather and the seasons because sometimes in the winter when the sun doesn't rise early and maybe uh it's dark you kind of get very weak and your bones are weak and you're lacking vitamin d so you have to supplement for this diet in your food and also because of the weather in finland and a lot of things are grown in the summer 
So I, th I think that uh, a lot of things are also preserved so that it might make them even less organic. So you find yourself trying to supplement for those diets or for those kind of uh, things that you might not be getting naturally and you want to always balance your meal. Even here in the restaurants, they will serve you always, always, all the restaurants will serve you salads or vegetable then they will serve the main course and there's always something to eat after. People even drink milk here, but I don't drink milk with food, but Finns like to drink milk with food because it's a good source of vitamin D. So they like to be very healthy and eat healthy. And I feel that that has also changed my way of living because even these days, if I'm cooking or I'm eating anything anywhere, I must eat my food with vegetables. At least half of what I'm eating or one quarter of my meal has to be veggies and it's a very good thing and it, I think it's, it's kind of helping me to be healthy. The fifth way in which Finland has changed me is that I'm no longer afraid of animals or dogs or cats because one thing I noticed when I came to Finland is that a lot of people have animals like pets, dogs and cats and in Nigeria people had these but I have this phobia of not you know being able to be close to an animal or to a dog or if I see a dog walking in the street I want to go the other way and if I see a cat or something that we have these beliefs about cats and some kind of mammals at night but in Finland I find myself petting dogs I see myself you know admiring a dog and saying oh my god this dog is so cute like <laughs> and one time my cousin was like oh my god like we are not really into animals you know in Africa or maybe in Nigeria like people like animals but it's not a thing that you see that people are walking animals on the streets or animals are everywhere like since I've been sitting in this forest I cannot even count the amount of dogs dog walkers that have passed me by and I've seen myself admiring some dogs and some animals like oh my god so cute also, so the sixth way in which Finland has changed me is a little bit hilarious in my opinion is in terms of my Nigerian fashion sense has really changed and the fashion in Finland is kind of different I won't say it's a good or a bad thing because I believe that every culture has their fashion sense so in Nigeria how dress up, wear big earrings, loud makeup, high heels, you know, when we're going to parties or we're going to weddings, like it's gonna be, you know. Well, here in Finland, I could literally wear one cardigan or one jacket for a week and nobody would look at you. It's, it's, it's something that is, you know, nobody actually looks at you. Nobody cares what you're wearing. You can wear your jeans, you can wear your trainers and then you're just on the go. Of course, I have friends that are still very fashion conscious and like to, you know, uh, document their style diaries but in my own case as a person it has changed my fashion sense a lot like if you're going to a wedding here it's so different from going to a wedding in Nigeria like people do not necessarily try to look you know so good they just wear a simple dress and shoe and everybody is fine but the call the, the dressing where I'm from is a little bit louder so it has kind of changed me that I now tone down my my dressing even with bright colors I don't wear that anymore like even though I love bright colors a lot but here people don't really wear bright colors like yellow pink and orange that I try to I'm trying to blend into the society because I'm already a dark person and my skin color is already different so well I just found myself blending and trying to wear what the fins wear the, sev the seventh way in which Finland has changed me is that I now adhere to rules and regulations and it's not like it's a bad thing or so it's not like it's I was bad and I was never adhering to rules but in terms of like lining up queuing like I mentioned in my first video how I was almost like you know jumping and trying to get the bus when others were queuing here I'm more patient and uh, I, 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 I'm very happy to follow the rules and regulations and if they tell you do this you do this as a matter of fact if you are over speeding there are speed cameras on the road there are places to cross on the road and you have to wait for the light to be green before you cross so i find myself doing all those things whereas in nigeria people just walk across the road and you know try to cross in between vehicles but here i find myself trying to abide and wait and do the right thing because things are very law abiding people and it is something that has changed my life so the eighth reason in or the eighth way 
in which Finland has changed me is that I have learned to be more open-minded. I have learned to agree and disagree because I feel that I came to a country where I am quite different from many other people and most of them have accepted me the way I am. I've also learned to accept people the way they are. Like my beliefs and my morals have also changed for the better. Like I am less judgmental as a person and or less prejudiced. I just tend to accept people the way they are. And I also have learn to understand that you do not necessarily have to agree with everybody or have the same religious beliefs as everybody you know and you don't have to feel that yours is superior to the other or theirs is superior to yours you just have to agree in this country to disagree and let everybody live their life because they let you live your life so it is one way in which I am actually growing and I'm changing in that regard and I and I really admire that part of myself right now and I appreciate Finland for that a lot. So the ninth way in which Finland has changed me is living my life for myself and I see a lot of other people doing it here as well like it's, it's a society whereby you live for who you are and you try not to live your life based on other people's opinions or what other people think of you regardless of your age or your gender like i said earlier you can be whoever you want to be regardless of being a woman or a man you can decide to take any career course you want to be i've seen friends that decided that okay this is they want to be mechanics or you want to be a pilot or you want to be a carpenter or you want to be a plumber and they are happy doing what they want to do and Finland has taught me that that you can be whoever you want to be regardless of your age there's no uh, barrier or there's no restriction or there's no law I know that some people are traditional and they come from traditional families and there are situations whereby your parents or your grandparents want you to be a certain way get married at a certain age but most people that I have interacted with here in Finland is not quite the case like people live their lives in their own terms I know there's a good and bad side to it but I think that that's one way that Finland has changed me it has taught me to be able to take the bull by the horn and make decisions by myself because I am alone here and it has taught me to be able to do things alone and live your life regardless just to live your life and it's a good thing so the final way in which Finland has changed me is learning to do things by yourself like I feel like I am a DIY queen like in terms of my hair my makeup you find yourself fixing things yourself you buy things from Ikea you have to build it yourself you have to like it's amazing I just became so proud of myself because I moved from different apartments and I saw myself fixing things doing things if things break down in your apartment or you have to call a plumber or whatever you try to find a way to fix these things because these services are not necessarily cheap in Finland so somehow you find yourself googling it learning it and doing it and appreciating yourself for it so these are the 10 ways in which Finland has changed me if you like this video please subscribe like and share i would really appreciate it and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye